because the face cards don't ever decline baby let's get into this fresh face a natural makeup tutorial and i'm gonna bring y'all along with all of my helpful tips on how to achieve this look but of course before we go any further if you are new here welcome to my channel my name is Shantae, and to all of my returning subscribers hey mama hey bestie hey friend it's nice to see you once again a jumping straight in using the supercharged milani dewy primer lately i've been swapping out the matte primers for the dewy and a kind of like a satin finish for me i have a naturally oily face so i prefer to have like a dewy finish because i feel like throughout the day i naturally attain that sheen especially in this heat and humidity so i don't like to use a whole lot of mattes because it can really dry me out and i can look old and crusted and we don't want that for a fresh face look now for my concealer i'm going in with the juvia's place i've been using this concealer for probably a couple of years now and it's inexpensive and it comes in a big bottle so so it lasts me a couple of months and I don't have to use a lot to get the coverage that I want. The main concern that comes for my face is trying to cover up my dark circles and every now and then I have a pimple but that's usually hormonal. For my shade colors I like to go in with the number 10 as my skin shade color, the number 8 for my contour and I use the number 14 as my highlighted color and I only use that color right under my eyes because again that's my problematic feature for me. Now I'm going in with a small little blending brush that I purchased so long ago. I do not even remember the where I got it from has been completely faded off, but it has been my die hard foundation brush. And I kind of go in with a patting motion because I don't want to lose that coverage. Patting it kind of helps me keep it concentrated in that space. And then I go out and blend it later once I have my placement. I'm going to do the same exact thing for my contour areas. I'm going in with a nice kabuki brush, like a big blending brush to kind of just pat it in place for my placement. And then I'm gonna go in with a bigger like powder blending brush to help feather everything so it blends in seamlessly and you can't tell where the highlight ends and where the contour begins. This technique helps me have a nice flawless and airbrush finish so everything looks just as natural and I still have this great coverage as well as a flawless finish. To blur those lines a little bit, I like to kind of bring my highlight up as well as my contour down so that everything kind of meshes together and we don't have this harsh line. And as you can see, I did not touch my jawline and that's because I don't have a problem with my jawline. I don't feel like makeup needs to be there and it works for me. I'm now moving on to my highlighted color in the shade 14. Again, the same concealer by Juvia's Place. And I love that these are very buildable as well as easy to blend so you're not spending 20 minutes just trying to get it to blend for you now right now I'm in my summer shade so I am a little bit darker than usual and then once winter comes around I usually kind of lighten up a little bit so I end up having to change my shades just a tad it's usually not nothing extreme so once I kind of pat that color in place to where I want it I then go in with a bigger kabuki brush to kind of just fade it and blend it in with the other shades so again we have this nice flawless finish and we can't see our lines. The whole point of this is to blend the lines and have everything look seamless. Moving on to set everything, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier setting powder in the color Translucent Honey. Now, since I am going in with this powder, this is definitely going to take away some of that sheen. And that's why I like to kind of uh, combat that with a dewy primer so it's not completely drying out my face. But we have to set that concealer because a wet face definitely does not feel good. And during the humidity, that sweat and it will start bleeding off of your face and your makeup will be transferring everywhere. So this is gonna help keep that makeup in place, set and ready to go. 
I'm going in with a brush to pat that into place. And now I'm going to set my contour. The Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker. It is a bronzer that is going to bring that warmth back to the face after yellowing out the center of my face. And that's going to kind of help bring that balance back to the face so it doesn't look completely paled and washed out. Once I have my highlight set and my bronzer set, I like to set my entire face using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation powder in the color 330 Toffee Caramel. And this is going to pretty much just set everything else for me as well as the jawline. I include the jawline in this. And it's also gonna brush off that excess powder that I use on the Laura Mercier. This is like a finishing touch. So everything is set in place and blended together. Now I'm pretty much adding on my finishing touches. I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush and this is in the color Zachary Dip. It has this like very orange red pop of color to my cheeks and this is gonna help bring a little bit more color back to my face as well. So right now everything is warmed and bronzed out and this peachy red color is definitely gonna bring that blushing perfect amount of color back to my cheeks and face. Once I have that all set, I'm going in with the ColourPop Cream Highlight, and this is in the color Wispy. It's the Super Shock Cheek. That is definitely a tongue twister. Super Shock Cheek. And it is a pearlized gold that's gonna add a beautiful shimmer to the cheeks and give me a nice highlighted finish. Time to work on my brows. I'm going in with the Morphe Micro Pencil. This is literally the only product I use on my eyebrows, but I don't require much for my eyebrows. They're not super thick and I don't have to like gel them down. Usually a simple tweeze and cutting some really long hairs is all I need. And this is in the color Java. I just lightly outline the bottom is where I always start. And then I do the top and I just kind of feather fill in the middle. Once I got it to the I guess intensity that I like. I like to go in with the spoolie brush to just blend it all together. It's a lot of blending when it comes to applying the perfect makeup. The more you blend, the more seamless it looks and everything is just flawless. Finishing up my eyes with some mascara. This is the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara. Oh my goodness, my favorite mascara by far as of lately. And I need to purchase my second bottle because this bottle is almost gone. It definitely gives me the volume that I love to see in my lashes. And I have the length, but I usually prefer more volume. And I just do about two to three coats to get the look that I want. Now it's time to style this hair real quick so I can go about my day. I installed these Fulani Versatile Viral Braids a couple of weeks ago. I have this tutorial up on my channel right now and it will also be linked down below in the description box if you would love to check it out. Now I almost forgot to set my face. I'm going in with the Clinique Moisture Surge and it's gonna bring back that moisture and that dewy and natural finish for this fresh face look. I'm allowing that to air dry and now I'm gonna finish up with my lips going in with a clear lip gloss and a brown lip liner. The lip liner is by Minted Cosmetics and it's in the color M5, a beautiful natural brown for all of my melanin women. It gives you a nice lighted brown, nothing too dark for an everyday, all day look. And then I'm gonna finish it off with a clear lip gloss that I picked up by the Ulta Beauty brand. And I believe it's like the Juice Infused Lip Oils. I buy the by the bundle because I lose them I carry them in my purses and I always end up losing them so I always snatch up like three or four every time I visit Ulta I don't know what it is about a brown lip liner and some clear lip gloss it is always going to be a summer staple for me okay like every single time it's going to hit for every single look and that is going to complete this look guys I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little makeup tutorial for an everyday uh, look that is clean and flawless if we see y'all on another one don't forget to check out our other mini makeup tutorials here on our channel be blessed and be safe